Hey guys, MCU Collector here with another figure review. Next up is the Hasbro Marvel Legends series Deluxe Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse Cyborg Spider-Woman. So this is a pretty awesome, it's a deluxe one, it's like 60 bucks. So it's a little bit pricey, but it's a big beefy figure with some crazy details on there. I will admit there is some lack of paint on the figure in some areas and I'll show you guys that. Um, but it's a pretty crazy looking figure and pretty awesome. Looking at the artwork, you get a 3D render of the figure there in the front. We get some awesome artwork of Cyborg Spider-Woman there on the side and that just looks incredible right there. On the other side, we get, you know, Miles, Gwen, and Spider-Man 2099. As you can see on the back of the package, we are 7.9 inches tall. There are no additional accessories that comes with Cyborg Spider-Woman. Get the Across the Spider-Verse logo there at the top and we have here cyborg spider woman this one is going to be available april 10th i did get mine from toy um he, he gave me a heads up on it uh so i can review for you guys so you guys can see it so april 10th it will go live on their website will be in stock as long um along with the rest of the across the spider verse wave so you guys will be able to get your orders in there so toy link in the video description below for first time buyers that referral link that i have um will get you a five percent off coupon code in your frost reward so if you're looking to pick up the Spider-Verse figures, you would actually be able to do that um, and get 5% off. And then for all orders over 100 bucks, you actually get free shipping to the U.S. And they don't only have Marvel Legends, right? They have a lot of Mafex import figures. Um, I know like Warhammer is like real big with Joy, Joy Toys. Joe Toys, Joy Toys, um, they have a lot of that stuff too. So check them out, toysnomad.com. They are based in Canada, just a heads up, but uh, make sure to check out the uh, link in the video description below. But here is Cyborg Spider-Woman. Let's get in for a closer look and look at all these crazy details because this thing's all spiky and just all kinds of crazy goodness going for it. Okay, so here is a close look at the Cyborg Spider-Woman. And look at that head sculpt. Just got some crazy stuff going on there with some kind of like mask portion, like a cybernetic eye eye patch on the other side just crazy looking all these spikes you got the chains all across the upper torso this crazy ass arm cannon here um just crazy like bandages and things and all kinds of stuff going on the boots are all like different and got spikes here and there like there's just all kinds of craziness going on with this figure it is insane now just to get this out of the way because somebody had commented on this on my instagram post when i had posted this saying is it true there's no paint on the back of the figure so here is where this figure has some disappointment to it Looking at the back, it's not that there's no paint on the back of the figure, but there is little paint on the back of the figure. So as you can see here, like the spider webbing, it almost looks like a barbed wire type style. So you have that painted gray on like the back of the head, back of the mask, back of the neck. But over here on the back, they did not paint it. So it's all sculpted there. But there's no paint you can see where it stops on the shoulder and they just stopped painting it and then on the back of the arm same thing so they didn't paint the shoulder which is covered up by that shoulder pad it would have been nice to paint it and they should have painted it and then on the back of the arm they didn't paint it, it would have been nice and they should have painted that and then on the back of the legs same thing they did not paint it but on the front they did kind of because on this right leg they didn't paint the side and then you could see they didn't paint the top so it just feels like there's some missing paint in some areas look at here on the calf they didn't do it no i don't know cost of figures and stuff but i know that these deco hits on like the the webbing and stuff it all comes at a high cost uh but man it sucks that we didn't get it painted that, that would have been really nice now for 60 bucks it's a beefy figure with crazy details the sculpt is like insane in this arm cannon all these crazy spikes and things because these are all little separate pieces that had to be glued in there or well i guess it's just not all each separate piece but several pieces like there's some crazy things going on for it um which just makes it like insane it's a crazy take on the cyborg spider-man making it Sp cyborg spider-woman it's multiverse right there could be an infinite amount of differences and things like that that's to be expected you know this movie has put a twist on character designs from for everybody um so it's you know of course for cyborg spider woman that you know they're gonna do some crazy stuff and there really is some crazy stuff so looking at the arm again just some crazy detail there is a swivel i'll get into all that with the articulation a little bit later on but it swivels around um this section here has its own swivel and then the spike section can have a swivel so just the barrels are insane as you can see there they're all holes um there's nothing to port in there unfortunately and those those holes look you know quite big but just crazy detail um in this thing like insane amount of detail it's just crazy like looking at the chain that kind of acts as a spider logo right so it looks like you know spider on the stuff because there's not really a spider logo up underneath there 
can't really get into it, but there's no spider. So the chain really acts as the spider logo. Um, you know, uh, pouch belt there, it's all yellow. Brown pouch there, some gray bandages, brown bandages, silver for that buckle there. Spikes, brown and silver for buckles on that boot. And you can see this boot, the tongue is like pulled down because I guess it's not all like secured on there. It's just crazy how detailed this thing is. Some spikes on the bottom of this boot, but not that boot. Like, it's insane. Like, it, the character design of it is pretty crazy. So you can see, you know, it's got different portion things on the boot. So this one has the spikes. That's why this one doesn't. You can see it's completely different. It's just kind of, kind, kind of nuts. Like, it, it's... It's it's really crazy. So um, yeah, per, per, like just insane. Like look at this thing. This thing is just crazy. So anyway, let's go ahead and check out her articulation now and get that out of the way. Okay, so articulation. Cyborg Spider Woman. The head is on a dumbbell joint. So no hit, no hinge. So looking down, she's gonna look that much. Looking up. And not really somewhat, you get full rotation. Um, and then you can do some crazy, crazy pivot pivoting going on with the head, as you can see. Like pretty nut stuff. So the shoulders, so the left arm can go up that much and the shoulder pad will move with it a little bit. Really doesn't hinder, as you can see there. Uh, the right with the big ass uh, cannon is not gonna be able to hinge um, out to the side as much. You can see it's straight down or out that much a little bit there. Full rotation in that cannon, of course. Um, there's no kind of butterfly joint or anything like that. There is a swivel at the top of the cannon, and again, the barrels um, themselves, that swivels, and then the spikes can swivel on its own as well. Uh, for the left arm, there is an upper bicep swivel in there. Uh, double jointed pinless elbow, so you get that much bend there. The wrist swivels and has a hinge. Oh, they didn't paint any spikes on the back of the hand there as well um so hinge there she does have an open uh open hand but she can't actually hold anything and i wonder if i wonder if the arm could come off like action figure wise it doesn't come off but i wonder if in the movie it could come off and then she can like hold it because it looks like this is kind of a handle thing um the figure does not do that so just a heads up on that uh this thing has a diaphragm cut so she, it, she can tilt to her left that much she could tilt to her right that much uh, going back is going to be pretty limited coming forward is a little limited as well not really a whole lot there is a swivel at that diaphragm cut there um, and then you could see where the paint kind of stops the red paint the gray go continues a little bit but the red uh, stops so that you know that kind of sucks uh, legs go out that far apart that is pretty good she can kick forward uh, extremely high and up and out. Look at that. That's kind of nuts. I uh, wonder if the same leg could do that. Yep, that leg can do that as well. Pretty crazy. Upper thigh cut in there. Same on both sides. You can see that pouch actually moves with that leg, uh, which is great. Double jointed pinless knee. So unfortunately, not much bend at the knee because of the design of the boot. It just gets in the way. Um, that's that one. This side, you get a little bit more bend um, on that knee there. But look at that crazy ass knee pad, right? Just crazy. It's soft, so you're not going to like poke yourself or anything like that. Same with these spikes here. Same with these ones are a little bit harder, so you don't want to like hit it or anything. Uh, so just a heads up on that. Uh, let's see. No, no, no boot swivel on either one. Uh, left foot. Uh, hinges down that much. You get some hinge up, ankle pivot, peg holes at the bottom of the feet. Because the feet are very different, I gotta check each one. So ankle pivot on the right foot as well. These spikes are hard, so careful gripping that boot. Can hinge down that much. Uh, hinge up is really not gonna happen because you can see that tongue flap is folded down there. So uh, decent enough articulation. I can't imagine she's gonna move around too crazy. I know there was a glimpse of her in the latest trailer that just came out a day or two ago. Um, but we don't know how big of a role she's going to play. This could just be one of those character designs. It's like insane that you, it's toyetic. You got to make a toy of it. Um, it could be that, or she could play a pivotal role, um, or maybe one important scene is what, is what I'm kind of thinking. A lot of times we get these Marvel Legends figures and we're disappointed at the lack of screen time in a movie. Um, and I'm, I'm afraid that this might be the case, but this is one where it's just, you have this insane action figure design, character design, like you got to go for it. You just have to. 
Okay, so looking at the inspiration, here we have the comic Cyborg Spider-Man figure. This is the one that was on the retro card back that was exclusive to Target. And you can, as you can see, it is the inspiration, but there are some major differences between the two. We get the yellow uh, pouch uh, belt, um, some bandage wrap around the, the right leg, but the diff big difference is the mechanical arm is the left arm on the Cyborg Spider-Man. Um, Cyborg Spider-Woman, it is the right arm. And then, like, the shoulder pad, they did do the eye thing. I guess they kind of have it switched to the other eye. Uh, no bandana. But um, this is where the inspiration must be coming from. I can't imagine that it's not. Um, so it's kind of interesting there. Okay, so here is the crew all together. So we have all the spider people. Spider-Man 29. Oh, no. No, no, no. Well, this is an Into the Spider-Verse version of Peter B. Parker. So does he count? We're going to throw him in anyway. Spider-Man 2099, Peter B. Parker, Spider-Woman Jessica Drew, Spider-Gwen, Miles Morales, Spider-Punk, Cyborg Spider-Woman. Will she go up against the spot? You know, I don't know. I feel, I still feel like the spot, I and I know, I haven't read like the official synopsis and things like that. My understanding is the spot is going to be messing with when it comes to like interdimensional travel and things like that, which messes with the, the multiverse, the Spider-Verse. I, I don't... I don't know. To me, from the trailer, it doesn't seem like Spot's going to be all that big of a uh, threat, in my opinion. As you can see, side by side, like Spot is like nothing compared. You know, same with, you know, Spider Punk and Miles Morales. I mean, look at the arm, right? That arm is bigger than Miles Morales itself. Like, that's, that's kind of insane. Um, but again, you know, the character designs are all different. It's nice to see a, one that doesn't have, like, super thin legs and super thin arms and things like that. Um, but having seeing them all together, it's pretty awesome seeing these all together. Like, they fit in really well together um, when you have them, like, displayed in certain ways. Like, if you want to get them in poses and things like that. But just having the whole ensemble of, of figures together makes them better in my opinion now it doesn't change the shortcomings of a lot of these figures or you know how thin they are and what things that we're not used to because of you know the style of the animation and how the character designs are for the film um so it's really different but again seeing them all together it's like oh this is pretty cool um having them all together but Sp cyborg spider woman is like the craziest of them all right she gets all the detail in the sculpt and, well they all have unique sculpting actually um, but she is just like, the character design itself is just pretty, pretty insane. You know, I wanted to throw in Spider-Man Noir and Spider-Ham. Um, it's a shame that we don't get other figures. Spider-Man Indy, it seems to be like he's going to have a pretty large role in the film as part of kind of the core team, um, that is going to do whatever it is that they need to do. Again, I don't know the full story of really what's going on in the movie. You've got the spot that seems to me like... He's just going to be a small villain like for Miles to overcome and then all the multiverse stuff starts happening and Spider-Man 2099 kind of takes on a villainous like role. I could be completely wrong in that. I really don't know. But like Spider-Man India, that would have been an awesome figure to, to get included. It's a very different design than what we see from the comics. But just like all these other ones, it's a crazy design like Spider-Punk. Again, they take inspiration naturally, of course, but it's not the same. Um, even the Jessica Drew Spider-Woman. Um, so, it, you know, it'd be cool if we got those figures. Maybe we'll get, like, one-off store exclusives. You know, they do that. Um, Hasbro does that quite often, you know, when it comes to, like, a lot of the Disney Plus shows. Individual characters, much later on, get a store exclusive release. Even Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. That Scarlet Witch figure is now coming, and it's going to be exclusive to Target. So maybe we'll see something like that. I would love to add as many of these spider people as we can get. A, a Ben Riley Scarlet Spider would be awesome. Um, and, you know, Spider-Man India and a bunch of others I'm sure that we're going to see in the trailer, in the movie. We're just going to want... You know, I want this Spider-Man. I want this Spider-Man. I want that Spider-Man. You know, Hasbro's not going to give them to give them all to us. But I would hope that the main ones that we see throughout the story, throughout the movie, can get released. Um, but only time will tell if that will happen. We shall see. But would be pretty cool. Just kind of playing around with the figure a little bit more. This is like something fun that you could do. Like with that open gripping hand, she can pick up the spot and kind of toss him around and do some fun things. Unfortunately, she doesn't have any other accessories. So with that open hand, you just kind of have to improvise on something that you can do. And right there, there, there is something. 
I'm trying to kind of test out pose wise and it's tough. It's going to be a major balancing act. So this arm is, is pretty heavy. It's not heavy enough to where it's not going to support its own weight. But what that does is it adds so much weight out here that to really get the figure to balance, it's really going to be tough, like really, really tough. But um, I think people can have a lot of fun with it. Um, it's a big, beefy Spider-Man figure that just looks kind of insane. Like when you look at scale wise, um, it, it's, 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 it's really nuts. Like I have here a, a comic spider punk figure for size comparison sake. I mean, look at that difference. That's, that's insane. That's insane. How different, how big this thing is. And for size comparison sake, here is the new blob figure. Um, and they seem to be about the same height. If anything, blob is just a tad bit taller. So you can see how beefy of a figure this is. So when I look at the two, this thing was $55.99. But after shipping and tax through Big Bad Toy Store, ended up paying $83. That was absolutely ridiculous and not worth that price. Now this one at $60 plus tax and shipping... Yeah, it's still going to hurt, but the detail on this one is so much more than that of the blob. Like, the blob really doesn't have a whole lot going on for it. Yeah, he's got, like, freckles all over his skin and things like that in terms of paint. But look at the molded detail and stuff on here. Um, Price-wise, it's, you know, they're similar. This one's still a higher price by a couple of dollars, like $58.99 versus $55.99. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm happier having paid $60 for this versus fifty six dollars for this i i'm sure like with most marvel legends nowadays they will go on sale or they will reach clearance no doubt in my mind that cyborg spider woman is is not going to be an exception to that and you will see that pattern um so i'm sure a lot of folks are going to wait to get it at a sale price or a clearance price but if you don't want to wait if you think it's awesome you know, you know grab it while you can because you know i think it's worth the 60 dollars. whereas blob i don't think it was because the sculpted detail just wasn't there right he's, he's large sure but in terms of the detail and paint apps and things like that i feel like cyborg spider woman wins wins in that battle a little bit um, but you guys can let me know down in the comments below uh, your thoughts on that. Um, so one final look at the Cyborg Spider-Woman before we go. You guys tell me what you think of this figure. Are you, do you plan to pick it up? April 10th is going to be the day. That's when you'll find it um, up for sale on all the websites. Some sites are going to be pre-order. I'm sure some sites are going to be in stock. I don't know how that's going to work out. Toysnomad.com. Again, they will have it in stock April 10th. Um, so you'll be able to check that out. Uh, but you guys let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. If you guys like this video, please do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Hit that join button to become a channel member and be a part of the MCU Collective. And as always, thank you for watching.